what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so we're going to go right in and get to the point of this video so right now i'm just showing you all what i will be using in today's video so i have my crochet here i have my my needle my crochet needle my clips my comb and jam of course now i did a review on this hair before by this company nayo now if you have not watched that video Go ahead and go back to my channel and go watch that video so they sent me more hair but this hair is 18 inches the last video was 12 inches now I will be doing a different method in this video than I did in the previous video so make sure you guys go ahead and continue to watch this entire video um, and I will also leave the link to the other video at the top of this video now this hair is different from the 12 inch hair because it is much more thicker which i am going to talk about a lot throughout this video now i'm going to open up this pack and i'm going to open up the 12 pack hair because i still have more hair of the 12 pack left over and so i'm going to show you guys what i mean by it being thicker and just the, some of the differences that i've noticed so with the 18 inch hair i would say there's like it feels like there's an actual dread on the inside and then you know they use the curly hair on the outside to wrap around to give it that butterfly effect whereas with this one it just seems like they use the curly hair and there's no actual dread on the inside which makes it a little bit more loose and a little bit more lightweight and not as thick all right so first thing first i'm going to go ahead and start off by parting my hair into sections and i'm using the rubber band method um as well as jam to make sure that my parts are clean and so i'm starting with the back of my head as you guys can see man i was so surprised i was so happy when i was doing the back of my hair seeing how long it's getting because baby i've come a long way what now you guys see the progress that i've been making and the parts that i'm doing are not too small they're not too big they're like in between but we all know that party takes the longest parts to do out of this entire hairstyle but i am getting done pretty pretty quick i'm so used to doing my hair and so i'm so used to sitting down and just getting it all done within one sitting so after sectioning my hair and putting it into a ponytail um, using the rubber bands I would braid my hair first and then I would twist it towards the end the reason why I don't twist the entire um, section or portion of my hair is because I want to make sure that it's secure I don't need my hair coming down um, yeah I've never tried this way but I'm just thinking like okay if I twist it I feel like it might come down it might start sticking out of the dreads and just some more stuff like I don't need anything to come undone I'm all about security and so I braid it first and then towards the end I twist it just to make it a little bit easier uh, when it's time to take it down as well all right so now that I'm all done with the hardest part this is how it is looking this is how this turned out and now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to apply the butterfly locks. Now, in this video, I am using the same exact method that I used in my previous video. So, if you guys have not checked that video out as well, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. Um, instead of the 18 inches of um, butterfly locks, I have the 12 inch butterfly locks. And I did not use the rubber band method. But as far as like applying the dreads, it is the same method. So I would later on explain exactly what I am doing if you guys did not check out my first video. All right, you guys, so now I'm going to show you how I apply my dreadlock. It's just like the other video. So like I was saying in the beginning of this video, if you have not seen my first video, go ahead and click this link right above here. So you're going to want to go ahead and put the crochet needle through your hair first. You want to latch the butterfly lock. You want to latch the loop that is at the end. Pull the hair through. Save it. Yes. 
pull the hair through and you're going to make a knot so just pull all the way down and then boom to hide this piece of hair i am going to take my crochet needle pull it through this butterfly lock Right, pull it through there, latch on my hair, like that, close the latch, and pull it through. There we go. And then do that again until none of the hair is left out. And so I do want to let you guys know why I'm using the rubber band method. I feel like the rubber band method gives my hair a much more cleaner look. In my previous video where I was using um, the 12 inch butterfly um, dreadlocks, I did not use the rubber band method and I feel like it didn't give my hair a clean look like it is, like how it looks now. Um, in the previous video, I feel like my hair, when I got finished, it looked like my hair was already done like for a week or so because my parts wasn't as clean. Put the needle through, latch the lock, close the latch, and then pull the hair through. To make a knot so that it's secure, you wanna put the other end of the hair through the loop. Once you get it through there, you wanna go ahead and pull. So I still got my piece that is hanging out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my needle, put my needle through the hair, just like this. Boom, it's open, right? And then I'm gonna latch the hair on to this needle, close the latch, and then pull my hair through. And I do it until all the hair hides inside of the butterfly lock. So one thing about this hair um, is that it is way thicker than the 12 inch that I used in my previous video. Now this hair is from the same company but yet this hair is thicker. I don't know if that's because the hair is longer or whatever the case may be but this hair I feel like it's not as lightweight. Um, but that can be due to it being a longer length So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually include a short clip right here and As you guys can see so on the right side is the 12 inch and then on the left side is the 18 inch and you guys can see with a 12 inch It's much more loose like when I stretch it out You guys can see how loose it is, but with the 18 inch thread it's much more thicker it's not as loose um it doesn't stretch out like that yeah and the 18 inch is much more of like a dread lock all right y'all so this is what the hair is looking like so far but i figured i wanted to add some curly pieces i want to insert some curly pieces in some of the locks you know have them hanging out and things like that and so I had some leftover hair. So this is the kind that I have, the Caribbean Twist, Bohemian Soft Water, and a 1B. And so I'm going to be using this hair and just inserting it in different places of the locks. Um, this hair is pretty thick and it's pretty stiff right now. So I'm gonna definitely put like a hot um, rag over my head when I'm done because this ain't it. And I'm going to just Put the needle through the hair, latch on the curly, and then just take one end and I'm going to just twist it around. Your girl is just extra sometimes and I just had to add some curly hair. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit more to it. 
that's just me i'm just experimenting and just trying new things as always and with this part you can it's like really no right way to do it there's no wrong way to do it so just do it the best way you know how you can use a crochet and just put it through put the curly hair through the dreadlocks wherever you want it at and that's exactly what i did oh yeah and a good thing to note is that when i was applying the curly pieces is that once i got to the end or once i got it to however way i wanted to, it to be is that i put a knot at the end to make sure that the hair is secure like i said before i'm all about security so i do not want anything to come out i don't want anything to come undone so you want to make sure that you put a knot at the end of the curly pieces once you add them in now your girl is about done this is the final look i hope you guys love this hair right now i am just playing with it i'm trying to figure out how i want to style it and like i said this hair was a little bit stiff once i got finished with it i don't know if that was because of the um the rubber bands or what it was if it was because of the dreads but i am just trying out different styles right now you guys let me know in the comment section below which style you guys like best i hope you guys like this hair i'm loving it it's taking me some time to get used to it with it being so long and thick and everything but let me know what you guys think of it so far All right, you guys so this is the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your girl's channel and don't forget to hit the like button do not forget to hit that notification bell as well i will see you all on the next video i appreciate you all